is Sunday, April 14th, 2019. We're in Augusta, Georgia for the illustrious Masters Tournament. Tiger Woods is on the 18th hole with a chance to snatch his fifth green jacket. Now, this putt is a bit of a gimme, but if Tiger doesn't drain it, we're heading to a four-way tiebreak. But before we see what comes next, there's so much you need to know. Luckily, I can help with that. Let's rewind. Tiger can make history with this putt. The crowd, known as patrons here in Augusta, are looking on ready to explode. His mom, Tita, and son, Charlie, can't control their smiles. It's a surreal scene, and there couldn't be a better setting for this moment than here at the Masters. Of golf's four major championships, the Masters is by far the most prestigious tournament. The folks in Augusta were trendsetters, establishing several aspects of the game that we see throughout the sport today. The Masters is the first major that golfers can claim to start the season, and the only tourney held at the same course every year, further adding to the event's allure. Pros have referred to the beautiful course as heaven on earth, but some may have a better chance of reaching the pearly gates than strolling the perfectly manicured greens of Augusta. The long list of qualifications for a Masters invite rivals a DMV form. If you are lucky enough to play the course, a win at Augusta secures a spot to play in the other majors that year and locks in a Masters bid for the rest of your career. Plus, a dub in Augusta comes with the famed green jacket that legends of the game like Arnold Palmer and Sam Snead have rocked several times over. But no other golfer has conquered Augusta quite like Jack Nicklaus. The Golden Bear has six green jackets, winning his final one in 1986 at 46 years old while simultaneously setting the record for most major victories with 18. The only golfer to come close to dethroning Nicholas is Tiger Woods. As a fresh-faced 21-year-old, Tiger obliterated the field of the 1997 tournament, becoming the youngest player ever to win the Masters. Four years later, he went back-to-back -back in 0102 then added a fourth green jacket to his collection in 05. His other dominance at Augusta forced Masters officials to tweak the length of the course in a move media members dubbed as Tiger Proofing. At the 05 Masters, Tiger had what's often referred to as the greatest shot in the history of the sport. While holding on to a one-stroke lead at the 16th, Tiger found himself left of the green near the rough while second place man Chris DeMarco had just finished 15 feet from the hole. As Tiger analyzed his next move, the broadcasters looking on believed he had no shot of recovering. With the shot, Tiger had a delicate swing that saw the ball land perfectly on the green, roll up the slope towards the flag, and slowly stop at the lip of the hole right until it dropped in. In your life have you seen anything like that? The dude owned Augusta. But Tiger's reign wasn't solely at the Masters. Since his debut win as a pro in 97, Tiger had a stranglehold on the sport. He's won 14 majors throughout his career, where he never trailed entering the final round of a tournament. Media members believed it was a foregone conclusion that he would surpass Nicholas. But year after year after year, Tiger was stuck at 14. And right here, over a decade plus since his last win at Augusta, this could be a career-defining moment for Tiger. A dub would secure his fifth Masters title and elusive 15th major. I mean, man's won plenty in his career, but his path since last putting on the green jacket or winning a major has been quite the journey. Tiger dramatically claimed his 14th major in 2008, winning a 19-hole playoff which he described as his best championship yet. The latest win usually feels like the greatest, but Tiger essentially won that tourney on one leg and underwent ACL surgery a week after hoisting the trophy. Injuries are a part of Tiger's disastrous downfall that saw him go winless over a decade and counting, but that's just one part of the story. In February 2010, Tiger issued a public apology after his marriage and a ton of his endorsements exploded following a messy infidelity scandal. His public apology followed months of an indefinite leave from the game that left the golf world stunned. When Tiger did return to play in the 2010 Masters, a place that's happily greeted him with open arms, he got the cold shoulder. Masters chairman Billy Payne lit him up, shaming his actions while calling him a failed hero for letting down the countless people who looked up to him. 
Once viewed as an honorable champion who could do no wrong, Tiger constantly faced reminders of his past demons for years. It affected his game, and journalists no longer believed he had the juice to win another major, even after snapping a two-year tournament losing streak in 2011. Tiger certainly wasn't the type of competitor to be happy with top place finishes, he gunned for more titles. But just as much as infidelity derailed his career for a time, injuries nearly did a man for good. From March 2014 through 2017, Tiger went through a series of critical back issues that required three separate surgeries. Soon after the third operation in late 2015, Tiger sounded uncannily dispirited about his recovery and the odds of a comeback. He remained hopeful for a return, but if his career were to end, he seemed content with what he accomplished. In the moments where Tiger pushed through the pain to compete, he looked like a shell of himself, missing routine shots, sparking media members to say it was the worst they've seen a professional play. Not only did Tiger start to lose faith in himself, but media members thought he was finished. A fourth back surgery in early 2017, where he missed his third Masters in four years, certainly didn't help. A month after the operation, it also wasn't a great look when off-the-course issues bled into the public again when an awful mug shot spread like wildfire after he was caught asleep at the wheel of his car. Tiger continued to remain optimistic about a return, but behind closed doors, that wasn't the exact energy he told his fellow players. But Tiger never fully gave up. In 2018, he played like an entirely new golfer, putting together a streak of impressive outings and got his first tourney win in five years. It wasn't a major, but the victory convinced journalists that Tiger at least shifted the narrative of a career that appeared to be over not long ago. To tee off 2019, Tiger was ready for the Masters. Many experts didn't think a 43-year-old Tiger had a chance to win, but thought he showed flashes to at least contend. They believed Tiger's knowledge of the course could be a bit overblown, and it's not like the dude had won at Augusta in over a decade plus. But as Tiger steps to this putt on 18, he's not only in contention, but has a chance to defy all odds. Getting to this point in the tourney wasn't easy, and if he does get the win, it'll be a championship victory unlike any other in his past. Headed into the final round, Tiger found himself in second place surrounded by a slew of golfers in striking distance of the lead, with Francesco Molinari sitting at the top ahead by two strokes. Of all his 14 major wins, Tiger had never won a championship while entering the last day without the lead. It's not that he hasn't been great, it's just that Molinari's been better. Things started slowly for Tiger on day one, where he posted an opening round score that eerily matched three of his four previous titles at Augusta. But other than nearly being taken out by a security guard on day two, Tiger's remaining rounds were business as usual, filled with deep huts and fist pumps where journalists believed he was approaching his old form, entering the final round. To win, Tiger needed to hunt down Molinari, and the two have history. While paired together in the final round of last year's British Open, Tiger took control of the lead but coughed it up with a double bogey on the 11th hole, leaving room for Molinari to take the title. They were paired together again this time around, but if Tiger were to win his first ever championship while trailing, it would come under unprecedented measures. Due to the possibility of severe thunderstorms, Masters officials moved up tee times by nearly six hours and grouped golfers in threes instead of the usual pairs. Some journalists believe the much earlier time would be a killer for Tiger, but through the first 11 holes, Molinari was Tiger's biggest threat, never relinquishing his two-stroke lead. Then came the iconic 12th. The signature par three at Augusta is one of golf's most famous holes, but also one of the toughest to crack at the Masters. The 155 yard hole has a narrow green made even more challenging by unpredictable winds that if approached wrong, can have your ball land in a bunker or down in the creek that sank several runs at Augusta in the past. Yesterday at 12, Molinari had one of the best shots of the entire week with a beautiful strike that landed four inches away from the hole. The expected storm hadn't rolled in yet, but winds got up to 20 miles per hour, which spelled disaster for the group ahead. With his shot today, Molinari aimed for the flag with a swing that didn't have enough force, landing the ball on the false green and rolling into the water. You don't think that door is flying open yeah. now? Not just for Woods, for everybody. 
While Molinari went swimming, eventually finishing with a double bogey, Tiger used his expertise and played things safe, opting for the center of the green, where he parred the hole and joined Molinari at the top of the leaderboard. Things got even more jumbled over the next few holes, but Molinari again found the water at 15, finishing with a double bogey. Tiger's birdie at that same hole put him at the top of the leaderboard by himself. In his prime, Tiger was a ruthless front runner, rarely letting a lead slip, but that wasn't the case less than a year ago at the British Open. When he stepped to the 16th hole, a spot where he had created magic before, Tiger had an opportunity to apply more pressure. Against swirling winds, Tiger took an 8-iron and aimed right of the hole, where the ball hit the green sweetly and rolled down near the pin in a shot that nearly left veteran sports broadcaster Fern Lundquist speechless. I am compelled to say, oh my goodness. After a birdie there and a routine par at 17, Tiger could sit back and watch his competition unfold to see what was needed to finish the tourney. Staring down an 8-foot putt for birdie on 18, second place man Brooks Kepka could cut into Tiger's margin and add more pressure down the stretch. But he whiffed. With that, Tiger was a bogeyer better away from pulling off the impossible. Which brings us here. Tiger took a safe approach to the green, but this bogey putt could complete one of the greatest comebacks in all of sports. Through a spectacular career marred by scandal and injury, just a year ago, there was no guarantee that Tiger would play professionally again. But yet, he has a chance to do the unthinkable to win his fifth Masters and 15th Major. There is no place like Augusta. Welcome to a moment in history. But here it is. The return to glory. Yo, what up gang? Thanks for watching this episode of Rewinder. If you want to learn more about Tiger's downfall, check out this episode of Collapse where we cover it in more detail. Or, if you just want to watch some more fire content from us, we got plenty of more heat for you. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and keep on coming back.